Listen, man, your Pratt Pack is living large tonight because we're at Jay Woolies, Woolly Bullies, in the heart of my hometown, New Brighton, right at the corner of that historic Blockhouse Run Road. Tonight, Nick Ziegler from Cali. He's a Manaka native, and he's the front man for the 4019s. They're going live in just a little bit on the main stage at Woolly Bullies. Scott Katie, of course, the incredible talent that he has can be read on a regular basis in the Beaver County Times. You can check it out on the Facebook page or, of course, his Facebook page or timesonline.com. Tell me about Nick and the 4019s. From California coming here, great garage rock, uh, just, just fun music. This, this is bar rock. This is American hard work and just great drumming. And uh, you saw a package down there. The play, you can barely get in the door. It's, it's so crowded. People came here for one reason. This guy's man. I parked up on Oak Hill and had a hitch down here. Folks. <laughs> hey, uh, you're gonna you're gonna grind it out in a little bit, and you've been grinding it out as far as this career. Tell me about your journey. Where did it all start? Oh, uh, started well. Left Manac in '81. I went and moved to uh, join the service, and then I got out of the service, moved to California, got in a couple bands. Uh, Mary's Danish, which uh, we had some MTV success and uh, a couple videos here and there. A hit called uh, "Don't Crash Your Car." A mild college. Show. Like it's all good, okay. man. It's all good. And, uh, and then Leonard's, of course, Detroit. They're all Detroit fellas. So we, uh, they come down. Half the guys are in the band are old Leonard guys, and uh, we're kicking out the jams. They were on MTV yeah. too, right? Yeah, they were on MTV as well. Yeah, old uh, MC5, stuff like that. If you remember those bands, yeah, Motor City. Yeah. You know, when uh, <laughs> Scott said uh, garage band, I think of just loud, proud. And you, just, you bring it from the first strum, right? Yeah, absolutely. Man. Yeah, we, were, we just played Motor City last night, and we're ready tonight. Yeah. Um, Manac, a big shout out to the SOI. He's a big fan of That's right. the folks of the Sons of Italy. Growing up in Manac, what was it like? Oh, it was awesome. I uh, used to have well, Calvin taking our photographs. Yeah, you know, we would go down to his shop, and get all the records, and uh, all the sports guys, you name it. Some of the old Manac guys who got here tonight. I saw Bobby Namus hanging out, you know. And, and older boys are representing a lot of Manaka people, so we're... So listen to who's ever bartending tonight at the Manaka So I, I got a 1.30 wake-up call for the show <laughs> on News Radio 1020 KDK. I'm heading home, but just leave the lights on until he can find his way back home tonight and have a cold one. He, right. he and Calvin after a long day. Calvin's good people, much love for him. Scott, talk about this and what it really means for really bullies. And this is a, a big opportunity for them, but more importantly, you got to give Jay a lot of credit. The hometown bar in Beaver County booking national bands. They get bands from Milwaukee, Indianapolis, Cleveland coming here. This is the kind of quality you'd see at a Pittsburgh club. Pay $10, $15, never a cover charge here, free parking. Time to drive home, see some great live music like tonight. I love this place. This is why I love Scott Tatey and what he does. Nick, best of luck. Thanks, sir. All right, well. Pleasure watching, watching all your programs. I love it. Thanks, man. All right, listen, we're going to come back just a couple of minutes because he and I have to do some work on some Beaver Valley musicians going into the Beaver Valley Music Hall of Fame at Lincoln Park on May 1st. Also, rock legends later this month, my good friends Ed Travisari and Marianne Miller and the whole crew, that's going to be at the Stage AE, and it's all about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame via Cleveland to the Barclays Center in New York, New York. That's coming up shortly as well, and they're going to actually do the whole taping thing and re-air it later on HBO. So we're going to go over all of that in just a couple of moments here from Wooly Bullies in NB.